All right, so we are going to upload a 3D model from Sketchfab, or from SketchUp, sorry, into Sketchfab. So first, I'm going to open up SketchUp. If you are a teacher, you can actually get a SketchUp uh, Pro license fairly easily, and it's pretty worth it if you start getting more advanced features. Once I see my SketchUp uh, Make window, I use start using SketchUp. Now, quick disclaimer, make sure that you use the, the SketchUp software, not the web browser that, that you may find on Chromebooks. Now, um, here's my scene for SketchUp. You can either create your own uh, 3D model or your own little world and have something to upload. Or, if you would like, you can borrow uh, one of the models that I've that a former student of mine created and you can use her model so I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm going to actually use uh, my former students model so I get rid of the man here and I'm going to go up here and let's see that's my extension warehouse I'm not ready for that yet I'm going to go into the 3d warehouse and that was this button here um, you can type in Lindsay high school and these are some of the projects that my students had made and I'm going to use this one here and I'm going to download her 3d model or her world it says load this directly into your SketchUp model yes please okay so now here is the entire project and you just have to click once and it lets go of the project. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Let's see, what do we have? Oof, zoom, 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 zoom. Position myself here, trying to make sense of what's going on. All right, so this is her 3D model. Looks very nice. It's the Aztec capital of Tenochtitlan. So this here was my uh, 3D warehouse where I imported. Now we're going to go into the extension warehouse. And in the extension warehouse, I'm going to look up sketch fab. And sketch fab is the name of the, uh, the website that we're going to be using. So I want this here, SketchUp to sketch fab uploader. So I select that one. And then over here on the right hand side it says install thank you I will install it this extension will have the ability to access the file system on your computer do you grant access to this lightly uh, do not grant access to this lightly be sure you trust the author we do trust this author and yes we will install this extension the extension has been successfully installed and is now available for your use thank you so I exit that now we must make sure that we have a Sketchfab account. I already have a Sketchfab account, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. So, um, what you're going to need in order to be able to uh, to upload your model is you're going to need to have a sketch a sketch fab account set up and over here on the side where it has your profile picture underneath the settings it's going to have um, uh, this new uh, edit your personal profile section that pops up and you're going to need this here which is your password and your API this is how your computer is going to be able to upload the model and then down here it has your API token and I could copy that and this is what I'm going to place right now into my 3d model when it asked me for it so my inst uh, so my extension was already set up everything is ready I go to file upload to sketchfab upload model upload only selected geometry um, 
You can press no just to make sure it gets everything. And now here is where I'm going to place my API token. So I pasted it in there. I add my model title. So this is going to be seventh grade student model uh, Tenochtitlan. And then I submit my model. And I can use Open Sketchfab model in your browser. I will say yes. And it is pretty cool what happens. So we play the waiting game a little bit. Yes, you do receive an email when the processing is finished. And now we're almost home. We're about 75% uh, of the way there. This is our cool uh, little model, how it's going to look when uh, anybody is searching it. So I'm going to press save view. I like that little view there. And to start setting up my VR experience, uh, down here at this orange button, I'm going to go into 3D settings. And here you can do all kinds of things. You could move your, uh, rotate your model along the X, Y, and Z axis, depending on what it is you are trying to do. If you have um, materials and textures, those would go in here. You could uh, mess around with the lighting. You can also choose the, uh, the environment. Uh, if you get the pro version, you could actually add more. I believe you could add your own background. So you could also add animations, depending on how, uh, how much uh, you know. And I'm going to choose this button out here. This is the VR button. And zoom out a little bit because I know this man's going to be here somewhere. Yep, so this is my VR man, and I'm going to place him out more or less in the section that I want him in. And it's just by clicking on him and moving uh, those little arrows. Then I'm going to get, drop his scale down to something believable. So let's see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit with my mouse. Um, we're going to put it at, let's try it 1,000. Uh, let's try a flat 1,000. Yeah, so that's about right. That's what I want. And once I'm ready and I have it set up, I go ahead and press Save Settings. Exit. And let's see, well, uh, do I have it compatible right now? So it's not going to let me view it on my computer, but if you want to be able to view it in, uh, in, the, viewer, in the VR viewer, you're going to have to open it on your phone. And uh, you can do that by, by emailing yourself this link. And then when you are ready, you're going to hit that little VR button on your phone, and um, it will work, and it will be very cool. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, keep looking out for more.